Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 75 and we are going to talk about that how can we be innovative, act with creativity and induce reciprocity. Remember, when we talk about reciprocity, it is a two-way communication, the communication between you and your stakeholders and that communication has to take place in a way that there should not be any compromises rather there should be adjustments. So, when we are talking about inducing reciprocity, remember that it is a two-way communication as I was telling you and that two-way communication needs to be focused on one another because ye dono ka ek win-win relationship hai. Secondly, and it is a continuous repair process, is mein continuously hume apni effort wo put karni padti hai. Continuously, we have to focus on how can we make the things better and better. But this is not only your perspective, but you have to give your effort to your stakeholders. And you have to actually convince them that they should be also coming up with the same perspectives, which perspectives you have to operate. At the same time, build mutual resources, such resources which you share with them. Because sharing is the most important thing to create the trust. The fourth important thing is that it is better to give than to get. So remember that upper wala hath, niche wala hath se better hota hai. Remember that jab hum giving perspective mein hote hain, to us vakat hum ek acha relationship establish kar paate hain apne stakeholder ke saath. Agar hum sirf faryad ke saath पेश रहेंगे तो उस वक्त हमारा मोटिव हमारा पर्सपेक्टिव वो इतना क्लैरिटी के साथ इतना कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ हमारे स्टेक होल्डर के साथ क्रिएट वो नहीं हो पाएगा सो इट इज बेटर टू गिव देन टू रिसीव अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अचीविंग सक्सेस थ्रू सोशल कैपिटल यू हैव टू बिल्ड द रिसोर्सेज द रिसोर्सेज व्हिच आर व्हिच यू नीड टू शेयर एक्चुअली and those can be the information or an ideas, it can be opportunities in financial capital, it can be power, emotion, growth, support. There are so many things which are required from you to build up the trust, the cooperation as well. Because jab tak aap ye resources apne stakeholders ko khud se provide nahi karenge, sometimes they might be lacking it and they would not be able to come up with right full relationship with yourself. So we have to connect with others. We have to make the world smaller and stronger and obviously smarter as well. For that purpose, remember one thing, we tend to be clannish. Ye human nature mein hai ke wo ek clan ke torpar rehta hai, wo ek kabile ke torpar rehta hai. Aur jab tak hum us kabile ke andar sab logon ki care nahi karenge, us vakat tak humare liye apne makasat ko pura karna wo difficult hoga. Number two, you have to ask, tell and share. Sometimes you have to trigger the other people. Sometimes you have to motivate them to ask you something which you want to actually tell. And remember, sharing is the bottom line. Or jab hum apne stakeholders ke saath ek sharing relationship bana lete hain, that is the time when the real strength is taking place. The third aspect, jis mein ke hum apne world ko zada strong bana sakte hain, and that is networking. Sab ke saath ek raabta, aur raabta positive constructive maano mein. Agar aapko criticism bhi karna hai, to that criticism should be in a constructive way, in a positive way. And the fourth important thing is that establish connection to all of the four domains. Kahi par koi bhi domain compromise situation mein wo na ho. Always remember yourself, your work, your home and your community. And you have to pay equitable attention to all of these. For this purpose, we are here to attempt now exercise number 18. When we talk about exercise number 18, we have to identify the missing pieces. Ke us jigsaw puzzle mein wo kon kon se components, kon kon se parts hain jo missing hain, jo humari us puri picture ko complete wo nahi honne de rahe. So, we have to say, we have to talk about identifying those missing pieces. The pieces which are actually going to complete our picture of trust and the relationship. So, to realize the full support, that is the more important keyword we have. We have to realize the full support from our network that can provide for being a better leader and having a richer life. So, us full support ko lekar aane ke liye apne domains ko focus karna hai. And it is a good idea to first identify the groups 
on which you are dependent okay because unless and until aap apne groups ko identify nahi karenge aap apni boundary spanning nahi karenge to aapke liye identify karna bhi mushkil hoga ke who are actually the people jo aapki tawajjo ko darkar kar rahe hain so you are already you have already identified your key stakeholders inki humne ek list already pichle exercises mein bana li thi your immediate and intimate circle jinke sath aapka taluk sabse strong hai for a quick audit of your current network us current network ko dekhne ke liye what you have to do and what you need to do ye do cheeze hame dekhni hai ke us current circle ke sath hum coordinate hum cooperate wo kaise karenge so think about and write notes on these questions to in questions par hame focus wo karne ki zarurat hai so the first question is what and which ties should you strengthen kin mamlaat ko aapko mazid strong aur mazid behtar banana hai and where should you spend less time and energy to hamara focus hamare waqt aur hamari energy ke mutabik wo kin logon par zyada hona chahiye kin logon par kam hona chahiye kaun se talukat aur mamla jinko yahan par wo ties ka naam de raha hai unko hame strong karna hai which networks can help you in particular ways actually these are the ways which are actually the highways towards the success तो अब उन हाईवे टूवर्ड्स द सक्सेस उन एवेन्यूज को हम किस तरह से मजीद बेहतर वो बना सकते हैं हाउ एंड हु कैन हेल्प यू डेवलप स्किल्स एंड कंपिटेंसी यू नीड टू प्रोग्रेस सो आपको अपने कंपिटेंसी को बेहतर बनाने के लिए अपने स्किल सेट को इंप्रूव करने के लिए वो किन चीजों की जरूरत है किन सहारों की जरूरत है किन ट्रेनिंग्स की जरूरत है जिसके बगैर आपके लिए डिफिकल्ट होगा अपने मकसद को अचीव करना who might provide valuable political and personal counseling because nobody is perfect nobody is complete to har shakhs ko wo zarurat hai political and personal counseling ki and last but not the least question is who are the people who influence others on topics that are meaningful to you to wo tamam kon log hain jo ke darasal maani rakhte hain un tamam mamlaat mein jo mamlaat aapke liye किसी भी लाइफ परस्पेक्टिव में वो जरूरी हैं। सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव जस्ट सीन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 18, जिसमें के हमारे डिफाइंड करदा तमाम जो परस्पेक्टिव्स थे पिछले एक्सरसाइजेस के अंदर उन सबको अब हम कंक्लूजन की तरफ लेकर जा रहे हैं और ये देखना चाह रहे हैं कि हमारे मामला हमारे ताल्लुक हमारे एहसास दूसरे लोगों के साथ किस तरीके से बेहतर तौर स्टैब्लिश वो हो सकते हैं अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इस जिंदगी में हमें सिर्फ मौका एक दफा मिलता है कि हम अपने स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ एक ऐसा ताल्लुक वो उसवार करें जिस ताल्लुक में ट्रस्ट कॉन्फिडेंस शेयरिंग ये सब कुछ शामिल हो देर फोर हमें मुसलसल इस कोशिश में रहना है मुसलसल इस तरफ बढ़ना है कि हम अपने स्टेक होल्डर जो कि हमारे वर्क से रिलेटेड हैं हमारे होम से रिलेटेड हैं हमारी कम्युनिटी से रिलेटेड हैं और इवन हमारी अपनी जात के एस्पेक्ट्स हैं इनमें एक इक्विटेबल बैलेंस वो क्रिएट हो और उसके लिए बाजात हमें अपने स्किल्स अपनी कंपिटेंसीज उनको भी बेहतर करने की जरूरत है थैंक यू